Hi Jane, what's up? I was just wondering how you're doing with the move. Are you ready to leave your old place? Well, hello big sis. Thanks for checking up on us. We're almost done here. We packed and cleaned everything. Now we just have to keep it that way until we're out. And then it's goodbye, old house. Wow, you guys have been working hard, huh? And how do you feel about moving in with Thomas's parents? Are you scared of living with your in-laws? Do you think there will be any issues with them? Well, we haven't really moved much of our stuff to their place yet, so it's hard to say. Oh, I see. But you're moving there very soon, right? Don't you already sleep there sometimes? Yeah, we've been kind of living there part-time for a while now. But I think it will be fine. Thomas is such a sweetheart, and his parents were always nice to me when we were dating. Well, that's good to hear. But you still have to be careful not to upset them, right? <laughs> Don't worry, I know that. But are you really sure everything will be okay with them? You know you can always talk to me if you need any help, right? Melina, I appreciate your concern, but I think you're overreacting. You know you tend to worry too much sometimes. Well, yeah, I know that. But you're my little sister, and you're married and moving in with your husband's family. How could I not be nervous about how that will go? I understand, but I really think everything will be fine. Thank you. Besides, Thomas said his parents are excited to have us live with them, and I already know how they like things around their house. So, I should be able to fit in without any trouble! And I'm actually happy that they're so generous and welcoming to us, you know. So please, don't worry too much. Well, okay then. You sound confident, which is good. But just remember that you can always count on me if you need any support with this. You know that, right? I know you tend to keep things to yourself until you can't take it anymore. Well, you got me there. I can't deny that. So I'll keep you posted, and I'll try my best to make things work with Thomas and his parents, okay? But you being so anxious about it doesn't help me. It only makes me more nervous. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stress you out. I just want to make sure you're prepared for this. Well, I think I am. Actually, Thomas is here with me. And he wants to chat with you for a bit. If that's okay... Oh, well, sure, that's okay. I don't mind that. Alright then, I'll talk to Thomas now. He'll be texting you until he says otherwise. Hey, Melina, how are you? Long time no see. Hi, Thomas. Long time no talk. I hope I'm not bothering you and Jane with this message. I know you're busy with the move and all. No, not at all. I get it. You're worried about how Jane will do in the new place, right? I mean, you practically raised her by yourself. I can see why you're nervous. And I want to say I'm sorry for asking Jane to move in with my parents so soon after we got married. I know it's a big change. Well, yeah, but as long as you love and protect my little sister, I'm okay with it. I just had to get it off my chest, you know? It's been bugging me for a while. I understand, and I'm glad you and Jane had a chance to talk. And I want to assure you that I will take good care of Jane, okay? Thank you, Thomas. That means a lot to me. And please, say hi to your parents for me and thank them for being so kind to Jane. Oh please, my parents are thrilled to have Jane and me move in with them. They can't wait for it. Actually, the thing is, my parents need some help around the house, especially my dad. His health is not great, and neither is my mom's. Oh, right. I remember your dad had a cane the last time I saw him. Yeah, that was three years ago. He had a stroke. And since then, he can't walk without a cane, and he really needs someone to look after him at home, or he can't function properly. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So having Jane around to help is going to be a huge relief for him, and my parents are so grateful that she agreed to live with them. They always tell me how lucky I am to have her, and I'm just happy that Jane respects how much I value my family. Well, that's good to hear. And knowing that your parents are excited to have Jane makes me feel better about the situation. So I hope you all get along well over there. Of course, we will. There's nothing to worry about. I know, but I just... Well, I know Jane can be a bit shy sometimes. But I can't help feeling anxious, you know? But you probably know by now that I'm a bit of a worrier. 
I know that. But I want you to know that I think Jane is a very strong person and I think she'll do just fine. I really think things will go well for us here, especially with my mom. She's really looking forward to having Jane here. I'm actually envious of how close they are. Really? They're that close? Well, that's good to know. Oh yeah, they're like best friends. I really think my mom loves your sister. And I also want you to know that I'll be there to support Jane. I know that taking care of my parents is not easy. But I promise you, here and now, that I'll do my best to make sure your sister is safe and happy. Thank you so much, Thomas. You really don't know how much I needed to hear that. I really am glad that of all the people in the world, my sister ended up with a guy like you. Okay then, I guess we'll talk again later when you're all settled in. Hope the rest of the move goes well. Hey Thomas, how are you? It's been ages since we last chatted. Hi Melina, it has been a long time. What's up? Well, I've been trying to reach Jane, but she hasn't replied to any of my messages. So I thought I'd ask if you know what's going on with her. Oh, I see. Well, Jane has been really busy lately, so that's probably why she hasn't been in touch. Busy? With what? Well, she just got a part-time job and they're giving her a lot of training and stuff. Oh, wow. I didn't know she got a new job. That's great for her. Yeah, and she's still helping my parents with their care and everything. So by the end of the day, she's probably exhausted and doesn't feel like texting or talking to anyone. I see. Well, that sounds hard for her, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I told her she didn't have to get a job if she didn't want to. I told her she had enough on her plate with my parents and the house, but she insisted on working. So that's what's been happening here. I'm sorry, she hasn't been keeping in touch with you, Melina. Well, if it's something that Jane wanted to do, then I guess it's fine. I'm sure she was bored of being a housewife. She probably wanted some change. Well, if you're okay with it, then that's good. Yeah, I mean, you know Jane. She's always determined to do what she wants. So you just have to remind her to not overwork herself. And also tell her to get back to me when she can. Tell her I'm worried about her. I'll do that, Melina. But you know, there's really nothing to worry about, right? Jane is a smart, capable woman. And I don't think she needs you to worry about her so much. Maybe you should give her some more space sometimes. Don't you think? You think so? Hmm, maybe you're right. I mean, I think she's independent enough to handle things on her own. After all, she's married and living with my family now. And to be honest, all this worrying makes me feel like you don't trust my family to take care of Jane. No, I'm really sorry, Thomas. You're right. I didn't mean to offend you or your family. I just can't help but be nervous for her. I hope you understand, but you're right. I should be more respectful of your family. I'll try to be more careful about that, okay? I'm sorry, but please do. And to be honest with you again, I think one reason why Jane hasn't been getting back to you is because she wants to live her own life and not be controlled by you. I know you mean well, but you have to trust that Jane can take care of herself, right? You're right. I was being too clingy. I'll try to message her less from now on. And I guess you don't have to tell her to get back to me. Great. Thank you so much. I'm sure that she'll get back to you when things settle down around here. You just have to be patient with her. Okay? Patient? I can be that. I'm really sorry for being so annoying with all of this. I just... Well, I guess you already know how much of a worrier I am. But anyways, I guess we'll talk later. Melina, are you there? I am so, so sorry for taking so long to finally get back to you. Oh my gosh, Jane. It's been way too long since I last heard from you. I heard from Thomas that you've been really, really busy doing all kinds of things over there. Yeah, I really have been. And that's why I haven't been able to talk to you at all. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. I'm just so happy to hear from you now. So how are you doing? You're not pushing yourself too much, are you? Have things settled down a little since you've arrived? Um, not as much as you might think, actually. Oh, really? So then does that mean that you're still really busy even now? Yeah, pretty much. I feel like I'm basically never caught up in all the things that I have to do in a single day. And I've heard that you even started working a part-time job on top of everything else that you have to do, right? So basically, you're working, taking care of Thomas's parents, and keeping their house in order? Pretty much. Although I really enjoy my job, so I really, really don't want to have to quit it. 
Especially since doing things around the house is just such a pain. I see. Yeah, I bet taking care of Thomas's father really can't be easy. But it has just been so long since I last heard from you. I was worried that something might have happened. Is everything okay? Actually, I think I kind of need your help, Melina. My help? What do you mean by that? What do you need my help to do? Are you trying to tell me that something actually has happened? I was wondering if you wouldn't mind bringing me some cold medicine to the house. I would really appreciate it. Maybe that and some Gatorade and some chicken soup or something like that. Well, why do you need all of those things? Are you sick? I am actually. I have a fever of over a hundred degrees and I feel like I can hardly move at all. I've actually been stuck in bed like this for the past three days. Wait, what? You've been like that for the past three days? Have you gone to see a doctor? No, I haven't gone to see anyone about this. But you've had a fever that high for this long and you still haven't gone to see anyone. Why not? It's not that I don't want to. I really do want to see a doctor. But I can't go. I still don't get it. What do you mean that you can't go? What's keeping you from going? Well, it's just that Thomas and his mom told me that I should be focusing on getting better by myself. They told me that they didn't want to waste any money taking me to the doctors. Hold on a second. You're telling me that Thomas and his family are preventing you from going to see a doctor about this fever you have? Yeah, although now those two are away on vacation by themselves, and I'm stuck here with Thomas's dad. Even though you've had a fever for so long, they're still making you take care of Thomas's dad. Yes, they are. But I'm just so exhausted. I really can hardly move at all. Especially now. I thought they were going to take better care of me, but I feel like I'm just a servant. That's just horrible. I'm so sorry to hear that, Jane. I thought that things were going well there. That's what Thomas told me anyways. I know. But from the moment we moved here, it's like Thomas became a completely different person. Both he and his mom did a complete 180 on me and turned into total jerks. They got so mean to me and also acted so coldly. Also, they're always calling me names and trying to put me down. And I've been the only one doing anything to take care of Thomas's dad and their house ever since I got there. In fact, it was actually Thomas who forced me to go out and get a job. He had some connection with some friend of his in town and made me start working there. You're kidding me, right? You mean that the reason you're working through all of this is because you're being forced to? I know it sounds crazy, but it really is true. I can't believe what my life has become. And Thomas never even said one word to me about this. In fact, he told me that you were working because it was something you wanted to do. Well, it's a lie. I hate being here. And Thomas only ever pretends to be a good person when others are around. But I never wanted to work. And he's just making me be everything. All of the work that him and his mom don't want to do. I see. Jane, I'm so, so sorry. I had no idea any of this was happening at all. It's okay. I didn't say anything to you, but I also wasn't even allowed to reach out to you sometimes. Anytime I even talked about reaching out to you, Thomas would glare at me, and I know that it would be no good. I see. And the last time him and I talked, Thomas even told me to stop trying and reach out to you as frequently. He told me that you were too busy to talk to me. Well, it sounds to me like he just didn't want us to be in contact with each other. But that probably means that he knows that he's treating me poorly. And he just didn't want you to find out. You really think that's it? I really didn't know what to think when I stopped hearing from you for so long. Well, there's another reason for that too. Even when there were times when I could have reached out to you about this, I didn't. Because I didn't want you to worry about me any more than you already were. But I really do wish that you would have told me something about this, Jane. I think maybe it's time that you come back and live with us in our parents' house here. Your situation sounds just awful. It really is difficult for me, I won't lie. I mean, I just have no free time, 
and no money to do anything either. I don't even know how he would escape from here to make it back home in the first place. What do you mean you don't have any money? Don't you have your own bank account? I do, but Thomas made me give him my bank info and then change my passwords so I don't even have access to a single cent of my own money. But what about the money that you get from your job? Thomas's mom takes all of the money that I earn and spends it to buy things for herself. Like I said, I'm working for some friend of Thomas's family, so she knows when payday is, and she always manages to intercept my paycheck. Well, that's just horrible. You're not their servant. You're their slave. I can't believe they're treating you like this. It's just horrible, Jane. I know. It's so awful. And I really hate it. I never thought that things would have gone this way. But they were all just pretending to be nice to me. But now, I just want to go home. Well, don't worry. I'm gonna bust you out of there, I promise. Just hang on a little longer. Hey Jane, are you there? Where the heck are you right now? I know that you don't have any work today. Don't you remember that you were supposed to come and pick my mom and I up from the airport? Are you off having fun by yourself or something? You really are a useless wife. Do you know that? How dare you talk to my precious little sister that way? Just who do you think you are, huh? Excuse me? How dare you talk to me like that? Is this even Jane? Who am I speaking to right now? Are you stupid or something? Didn't I just say, my sister? Who do you think it is? Thomas, it's Melina, your sister-in-law. Wait a second. Is this really Melina? What are you doing? Texting me on Jane's phone? Because she told me all about the way that you and your horrible, awful mother had been treating her. She looked like a complete wreck when I went to go and get her. If anyone is terrible here, it's you, Thomas. What do you mean? She looked like a wreck. What are you talking about? Are you really going to try and play dumb about all this? I really have no idea what you're talking about at all, I swear. Okay, then allow me to fill you in. A few days ago, I got some messages from Jane asking me for help. She told me that she had been sick with a really high fever for a few days, and that you and your mom refused to let her go and see a doctor. But I could tell from the moment I saw her that she was malnourished. Just what exactly were you doing to my poor little sister? So you're telling me that you showed up to our house and stole my wife away? How dare you talk about Jane? As if she's just something that can be traded or stolen. I rescued my little sister from you and your family, and I brought her back home with me. And you're never going to get her back. And just what is that supposed to mean, huh? It means that she is going to get a divorce from you and won't ever be going back there. You can take care of your father and the house by yourself. Because I am never going to let you hurt my sister again. How dare you try and talk about our marriage? Just who do you think you are? I thought I told you to quit messing around with your sister's life. And I almost believed that I should have listened to you. But you were never asking me to do that, for Jane's sake. Hold on a second. Where is my dad? I thought that Jane was supposed to be watching him. He's nowhere in the house. How could you do this to my dad? I didn't do anything to your dad. But that's rich coming from you after the way you treated Jane. Anyways, if you must know, your dad is safe. Unlike you, he isn't a totally crazy person. We talked to him, and he told us that he wanted to be checked into a retirement home. And so you just took him there without saying anything to my mom or I at all? How dare you mess with my family like this? Don't you know that Jane is my wife? That means that she's with us now. Can you please stop talking about my sister as if she is something that you own? She is a living person, and you can't control her. I know that you may have thought you could with your horrible bullying, but now it's time for her to get back at you. Get back at us? Just what is that supposed to mean? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Melina, please, I beg you. I'm so sorry for everything. My mom and I know how wrong we were to treat Jane like that. Please, don't sue us. We can't afford to pay you that much. I warned you that we would get our revenge. So just shut up and pay up. This can't be right. You can't possibly charge us this much, can you? If anything, the amount is too low. Have you forgotten all the pain and suffering you caused my sister? Please, have mercy on us. Drop the charges. 
This is all a big mistake. Besides, who will take care of my mom now? Why are you asking me that? Well, because my mom is losing her ability to walk. And her pension is not enough to cover her expenses. And I don't have the time to look after her. So please don't take all our money. Oh, please. Didn't you and your mom just go on a vacation? And do you think that some sad story about your family's hardship will make us change our minds? You're dreaming. But I don't want to divorce Jane. Why? Because you'll lose her income that you use to fund your lavish trips? No, but it's just... Well, my dad is in a nursing home. If you go ahead with this lawsuit, we'll have to sell our house to keep him there. But we'll have nothing left. Isn't that terrible? Yeah, that sounds like you're in a lot of trouble. Please, you can't do this. You can't take my wife away from me and ruin my family. You know, the only reason your dad wanted to go to a home was to get away from you and your mom. He knew he needed someone to care for him. But he didn't want it to be either of you. Please, I'm so, so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. You have to forgive us. That's not going to happen. But if this is all you came to talk to me about, then we're done here. In the end, Thomas and Jane got divorced, and Thomas and his mother had to pay Jane a fortune for what they did to her. After that, everything went downhill for Thomas and his family. They had to sell their house to pay for his father's nursing home. His father didn't want anything to do with them. He turned them away every time they visited. Thomas and his mother ended up in a cramped apartment, barely making ends meet. His mother had to work again, even though she was old and sick. Jane was finally free from them. Our parents and I helped her heal from the trauma they caused her. She got a new job that she enjoys. She moved out of our parents' house and into her own place. She's still struggling with some emotional scars. But she knows she can always rely on us. We're her family and we love her. And as for her big sister, I swear I'll never let anyone hurt her or any of us again. You can bet on that.